Hi, my name is Cameron Hepburn. I'm a professor of environmental economics here at the University of Oxford. And I'm happy to tell you about this paper that's been led by Alex Pfeiffer here at Oxford about committed emissions of the power sector. So by committed emissions, we mean the embodied emissions of all the fleet of power plants that we already have installed around the world, the coal plants and the gas plants and the other fossil fuel plants. And what we've done in this paper is to look at all of those plants, how old they are, how long they're likely to run, what the utilisation factors are likely to be, and work out how many emissions we should anticipate from those plants. And we expect around 300 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide. Now, this turns out to be a problem because to achieve the Paris goals of limiting warming to less than well below 2 degrees of pre, above pre-industrial levels, we've got a budget of around 240 billion tonnes of CO2. So with the existing stock of power plants, we're already 60 billion tonnes over the budget. So that's not good. But even worse is coming down the pipeline, we've got over 7 trillion US dollars worth of potential spend on new power plants. And if you add up the power plants that are already in planning or pre-construction or financing around the world, a lot of them in Asia, and you look at the embodied emissions in those plants, they would add another 270 billion tonnes of CO2 to a budget that has already been exceeded. That leaves us with a pretty difficult dilemma. Either we build those plants coming down the pipeline and we have to then uh, shut down other plants to keep within the budget or run all the plants at lower utilisation levels or put carbon capture and storage at the back end of those plants, which is very expensive, or come up with other clever ways to suck CO2 out of the atmosphere, which are untested and potentially expensive, or we give up on the Paris climate goals. So, uh, in my view, probably the cheapest thing to be doing, the most economically efficient thing to be doing, is not to be building, putting lots of money into assets that you're likely to have to scrap anyway, and instead of allocating those trillions of dollars into fossil fuel investment plants, allocate that money instead into clean energy sources.